am so excited for today's video and by the way this is our new kind of logo kind of it's this butterfly and so let's start today's topic of our video today the, the topic of our video today is seeds plants you know so basically I have a lot to tell you in this video today basically I went to the Burlington County Library, the Maple Shade one, and they said they had a seed bank. I was a little confused first, a seed bank. I've heard of it before, but I'm like, let's check it out. And basically how it works is that they have multiple seeds of plants. So there's sunflower, zucchini, pumpkin, radish, etc., etc. You know, marigold, rose, everything. But they ran out of rose, so I got one packet of every, you know, plant, every type of seeds, and I decided to plant them in my backyard. So how it works is what they will give you your starting seeds, and once your plants get seeds, starts uh, start to grow, uh, you know, like I got a capsicum plant and it absolutely grew capsicums. So, you know, seeds from it I have to give to the seed library. You know, so it's kind of like, you know, so you, they give you and then you can eat the capsicums or anything you can do with that or just, it makes you happy, right? To grow your own plants and see, see how they grow so fast. So yeah, so I just want, you guys to see this and how the seed library works but it's been like three four months since i've gotten seeds from the seed library and my plants have been growing pretty well so i thought you guys would like to check them out and seed library is every year in april i think may Jan january february march april april or may Okay, so every year they keep the seed library in April or May at the Burlington County uh, Library in Maple Shade. So yeah, let's check it out. So let's just go in my backyard. You know, in like, this is my backyard. So let's just go out. But I have to show you something which is totally weird not weird but uh i pretty sure you all guys you guys all know this little insect by now it's a red lantern uh they came like last year so i'll talk about them i'll talk about them more when we go inside so this is marigold and i actually got the seeds from the seed library in Burlington County uh, Maple Shade Library. These ones are drying up a little, but these ones are so cool. Their colors are so bright. And I actually got seeds out of these. And I mean, and the seeds, I planted them in another pot over there, which I'll show you. And they actually work because plants, small little plants are starting to grow there. So I'm really excited. This I did not get from the seed library. This is Tulsi. Okay, so let's go down. And then, this is tomato. I didn't get tomato from the seed library. I got it from produce. But my tomato is actually drying out a lot. So, if you have any solution for how to keep your tomato fresh in summer, please comment down below. Or, you know, comment down below the link. Please. I need your help. The tomato is growing tomatoes, but like you know, the the leaves are like this. So yeah. Then I have basil, which a oh god, there's a bee there. You see it? First I used to like bees, and now I don't like bees for some reason. Okay. Basil, I don't think I got from the seed library, but I have. A lot of cool plants which I did get from the seed library. So, and this is, these are the small marigold plants I was talking about. You know, I was telling you that that marigold over there uh, got, 
I got some seeds from it and I planted them here. And now marigold plants are actually starting to grow. I did a lot of them, but not a lot of them started, uh, you know, growing. So it's only these ones, but still it's a lot. And I'm excited. Okay, so this is capsicum, another tomato. So let's just go quickly through the seed library plan. So seed library plan, uh, one of my most successful seed library plans is this zucchini. Oh my goodness, guys. It is growing not just like from here, but like all the way it's climbing. I put some support by ropes from a big tree up there and it's growing when I got it. Like it was like seeds, literally seeds. And it started growing, but when I kept it near plants, it started tangling itself upon them and I had to cut it sadly. So I decided to keep uh, ropes. And now it's like, you know, nicely growing on ropes. So I'm really excited to see. And it's already starting to get these uh, yellow flowers. So I think, you know, zucchinis will be coming pretty soon. And when they do, hopefully I can make a video of them. I'm pretty sure I will. So this is lettuce. I wish I'd taken a video away before this, but the lettuce is growing a little crazy. First it looked like real lettuce and now it's growing these things. I think they have seeds in it. But again, comment down below what it is. Okay, I'm so sorry, but I, cause I ran away. Cause there was this fog which was buzzing so madly. I don't know why. Okay, another seed library plant I have is sunflower. And this is also one of my most successful plants from the seed library. Cause just look at that sunflower, right? Oh my goodness, that is so cool. And it's literally, you guys probably don't see it from here. Let me show you. It's, okay, sunflower, and this is the size of my hand, literally. So it's a, a very big, and it has so many petals, so beautiful, yeah. And the rest of the, my plants I didn't show you because they're not from the seed library. And that this video is only about the plants from the seed library. I got more seeds from the seed library, but I saved them for next year. Since if these failed, but it was so nice because they didn't fail. So next year I'll be planting more seeds from the seed library. Now... I told you we'll be talking about something, which is the red lanterns you guys probably saw on my last window. So basically red lanterns came, so they were on news, actually. They do not harm humans, don't worry if you haven't seen the news. Like they don't harm people, but they do eat your plant, plant uh, sorry, I'm so sorry, your plants up, so. So if you see one and you have plants, then that means your plants might be in danger. Uh, they don't eat some plants, but I do have plants which they love. I have a lemon plant, which is whose bark they literally love. And I had like 10 or 11 of them on it last week. But now for some reason, I don't know why I didn't even do anything. And they're gone. So yeah, but they came like a year ago in 2020. Like in September, you know, I don't know. They came, they weren't here, but like, yeah. So, Red Lanterns, if you see one in your backyard, please try and get rid of it, because if you have plants, it will damage your plants. Be aware, okay? So, yeah, that was it for today. Comment down below any questions or comments you have about the seed library, and I would love to answer them. Bye, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and hit the notification bell. Bye, see you next time.